Hi, it's me, Rashid, Coach Speaker and Author, and a very, very, very warm welcome to the September issue of Capital Coach, your newsletter for success and fulfillment. And can you believe that here we are in August, new season, new time, it's about back to school, it's back to work, back to business. And that's the theme of this newsletter here today. Um, first up, um, we're running a free webinar Tuesday the 6th of September, 7.30 p.m. UK time, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're in the States. And this free webinar is going to help you get inspired, reorganized and focused for the season ahead. So tune in if you're feeling a little bit tired and need to be re-energized, focused in order that you can really progress. So, and if you've missed this, if you're finding that it's beyond Tuesday the 6th, you can watch it back on, uh, on replay. So just follow the link below this video and you'll be able to see the details for that um, webinar over on soltrader.biz. Next up news, a very, very, very happy 10th anniversary to the British Library's Business and IP Centre. I've been lucky to be a proud partner of the library for nine of those 10 years. And the British Library Business and IP Centre supports people who are thinking about starting and growing their own business. And I've met many of you viewers, clients, um, seminar attendees from the British Library. So I'm very grateful and I wish you all the best, the British Library and Business IP Centre and everybody who's been through that journey um, on your life journey. I'm really wishing you all the best. And to help us celebrate, the library is holding a very, very, very special event, which is taking place um, on the 27th of September. It's called Startup Day. It's an opportunity to come along to celebrate and there's a whole host of experts, free um, workshops, seminars and sessions to help you um, whether you're starting or whether it is that you're growing. So hopefully see you there. Um, I'll be running a workshop there, so do join me. My sessions could be on what it takes to be an entrepreneur. Okay, um, right, new season. That's our next topic because we're into September, it is a new season. And you know what's really interesting is that this time of the year is synonymous, isn't it, with, with starting afresh. Not only is the season changing, but people are going often into new jobs or starting a new. Um, I know another, a couple of people who they've got children who are starting at, at, um, at school for the first time. You might be starting a new job or you might be returning to something that you've been doing for some time and you're wanting a sense of renewal. So it's really worth taking a moment just to pause and just to reflect, to celebrate what's already been and just to ask yourself, where is it that I'm at right now? And, and, and how is it that I'm wanting to move forward from here? And I think that leads us beautifully into our, 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 our next topic, which is actually stepping up your game. Often when it comes to this time of the year, it is the case that we really need to get serious. We need to get, um, we really need to get focused. And again, if you think about it, the, the, this period of time between September and December is often the most busy time of the year. It's often the most productive time of the year. It is a time which is synonymous with harvest, with things growing, um, etc. Um, as well as um, that beginning period of time in, when, in which things will begin to draw in toward the end of the year, where it is that we'll be wanting to take stock and have a stock of things. Again, it might be where you're at a point where you're very established in your career and so on. So maybe now is a time for you to really fully exploit all the things that is that you've done in your life. So for many of you, it will be a time where it is that you need to step up. Again, it might be that you're literally in the school working environment, you know, where you're where you're needing to study and improve your skills. It might be in terms of your career where you might be thinking, actually, you know what, now is a time where I'm really wanting to move forward. Or it might be that case in your business. So again, this thing about stepping up might be relevant for you in many, many ways. So what I'm going to do is very, very quick, quickly show you 10 top tips for stepping up your game. And what's interesting, I'm a, I'm a big tennis fan, and one of the things you'll notice in tennis is when it gets to four games all, the very, very experienced players will often really get focused then because it's what they call the business end of the set. Well, we might well be now at the business end of the year. So here are my top 10 tips. One, know what's really important, what's not. Focus on what's important, let go of what's not. To ensure that you're ready and that you're rested, that you get all the sleep you need daily, that's essential. Number three is food and drink. I'm not gonna to preach to you, but know what works for you and know what quantities are right for you. Um, number, um, next up, number four, have a very simple, write a very simple one or two page strategy for your life, your career, your life or your business with clear goals and clear actions to help you move ahead. Okay, next up, number five, Produce yourself a, 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 a simple timetable um, to give you that framework, but also to give you flexibility that you need. So make sure it also has things like breaks in there. 
Know what works for you. I don't want to be too prescriptive about this, but if you're somebody, if you find that focus is a little bit of a problem or if you are starting something anew, then you might find that for a while that the framework is what supports you before you can let go of the framework. A little bit like when one more festival have scaffolding above a building. Once the building or when you're doing repairs to it, when you're putting it up for the first time, and then you can remove the, the scaffolding once everything is set and, and stabilized. So it's a period of time where you need a timetable to give you a little bit of a framework and focus. Um, next up, know what your distractions are. You know, number six, know what your distractions are. Don't negate them, don't pretend that they don't happen. Manage them, be shrewd around it. So is it that you build in a little bit of time for the things that you're distracted by, but that you start off your days without the distraction. So it means if the emails are distracting you, don't have the emails on. If the social media is distracting you, don't have the phone anywhere near you. So know what really works for you. And next up, number seven, prepare, plan, practice. I think this is really important when we're wanting to step up our game because for anything that is that we're wanting to do, it's about putting that time in. So put in that time. Again, you've been there in the past when it is that you were studying when you needed to learn something. It might well be the same case for you now in your career. Is it that you need to gain new skills? Is it about putting yourself forward for something? Um, and, but putting in that time, putting the planning, putting the preparation, putting that practice is really going to um, is really going to help you. And finally with that, I also want to say arrive early too, because sometimes if you're the first one there, it puts you in the front row of the grid. So you've got more chance um, to progress. Number um, eight, be passionate and not half-hearted. Give 100% all the time. You know, very often in life, and we really will support those people who are really engaged, engaging, and are really giving of their best. Um, and that's gonna be a really key factor for you to progress and for you to um, be of your best. Um, uh, uh, next up, number nine, is mindset is key. You know, be focused, but remain open-minded. I have to say that, you know, you need to be at one the same time, completely single-minded and completely open-minded. So you know where you're going, but also you're able to spot those things or where things are changing and you might need to change. And finally, um, review, reflect, review to improve and to fine-tune what you do. And don't be afraid to change things up too. So those are my top 10 tips for stepping up your game. I want to pause there and, you know, I want to talk about something completely different that, um, Throughout the year, I'm lucky enough to work with people of all backgrounds in business and career in the workplace and so on. As many of you know, I've been running a series of career development and leadership development workshops for a number of, um, particularly in the, in the National Health Service. And I just wanted to read you this piece of feedback, a success story. Um, and this is Isabella um, from Isabella Sapong, is a learning and development officer. Isabella um, wrote, and she kindly posted this on my LinkedIn for me. Rashid was um, commissioned by my previous employer to hold career development courses. Prior to starting the course, I was confused and not able to map out a one-year plan, let alone a five-year plan. After the first session, I became more self-aware of my skills, learned to credit them instead of being so negative, and I also changed my approach to job searching. Rather than looking at specific jobs in various sectors, I became more open to jobs that fit my criteria and that is really important to me. This session changed my mindset about looking for jobs and I, re and I later realized I was in the career path I needed to be in. After the second session, I was able to write a 10 year plan and I was also able to secure an amazing job before the last session. I was truly grateful and would recommend him. Um, uh, um, th thank you, Rashid. Thank you, Isabella, for writing in. And um, I think the key thing there is that you took that time to pause and to step back and to and in fact, to do many of the things that we've talked about, those tips, writing yourself a strategy, being clear and, and, and crediting yourself with the qualities and skills you have. And I really wish you all the best in terms of that. OK, next up, um, uh, 10 essential reasons to get networking. Um, when we are at a point where we're wanting to move ahead, it's really important. Relationships are everything. And, and the word networking sometimes leaves lots of people cold. Networking is networking's actually about building rich relationships to benefit everyone. And if you think about it, everything in life is about networks. Family is a network, workplace is a network, or well, the people you know are a network. But um, here are my 10 essential reasons why you should get networking. One is for connections, contacts, connections in any field. You never know what you're going to need. Two is relationships. You can build friendships, partnerships, all sorts of opportunities. Next is elevation. It's about gaining career opportunities, clients or sales. So many people who network actually are getting that fast track, tracking, that elevation through networking. 
inspiration. When you go to many events, you may well meet um, inspiring speakers and other contributors. Five is isolation. The danger is if you're at home all the time or at your desk all the time, you might be getting stuck, you might be getting stale. By getting out, you might be able to get the support and the sharing that you need and signposting that you need also. Number six is introductions. You know, when you're out there networking, you're actually meeting people in person, you might be able to be introduced firsthand to that speaker, that key person, that contact, and somebody else in my make introductions for you, um, so introductions. Um, so it can open doors that otherwise you might never have the opportunity to, to, to open or be even near. Next is direction, perhaps you're at a point of change or, or stepping up or moving or shifting things around. And so networking can often help give you direction because often you might well be meeting people who are further down the path or who've also changed paths and so on. Next is information. You know that often you can go to events that are briefings or to find out things in your industry. Number nine is education. Sometimes, again, it's about building the skills and so on. So, for example, people come to my networking success event, often they're wanting those actual skills to help them to advance. And last is celebration. It's about fun, etc. So those of you who are interested in networking, um, I hope those tips are useful. But also remember my networking and the success event, which is run once every month at the British Library. And again, all the dates and details, you can follow the link below here. My featured event though for this month is um, Soul Trader, which is all about um, following your heart and doing something that you love. So if you're on that journey of being your own boss, um, then join me for Soul Trader, your life, your business. It's held once every quarter, the next one being 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on the 23rd of September, which is a Friday at the British Library's Business Centre. Um, here are seven reasons to come along. It's going to give you clarity. It's going to help you to find the customers. It's going to help you boost your courage. It's going to help you to find the cooperation that you need. It's going to help you to have those conversations personally, online, etc., to win over business. It's going to help you with the creativity um, in order to build this thing and keep yourself productive and effective and, and refreshed. It's also going to help you with compassion to take care of yourself and take care of your customers, to take care of business. And of course, it's called your life, your business for a reason in terms of helping you keep your life in balance. So if you're starting to feel great or if you're feeling stuck, come along and again the details of that you'll follow the link below. We're heading into the final stage of this newsletter but my tip for month is setting three goals for autumn growth and this is quite simple I want you to set one goal for yourself personally it might be about your health and your well-being I want you to set one goal for your career and your business and one goal for your relationships make it specific and make it something that you want to achieve in each of those areas for December so that's my tip for the month. Um, I also just want to mention, this is a time where lots of people turn their attention to watching a lot of stuff on the box or watching those box sets and so on. I've recorded a number of um, series of videos to help you in various areas. So if you check out my YouTube channel, you will find that there's a new mindset and mindfulness series of four videos that help you move from a noisy mind through to a quiet and calm mind through to a, a flowing mind, you know, a mindful mind. So check out that series and there's an introduction video to making up the four. Deeper Matters, which is a series of audio talks. You know, we live in a world where we often feel that debates are so reduced to um, something that's very superficial. So Rune Kofi, who's an artist, creator, producer, and I have recorded a series of talks of um, conversations on very, very, very powerful uh, uh, um, topics. The first one is on the sovereign self. Deep issues like, who am I? Um, are discussed in this series. So the first one you'll find um, there. And again, all of these um, you'll find uh, a link to underneath here. And Soul System Success. Um, this is a new, really interesting series of videos that I've recorded with international management consultant um, and uh, um, business coach Julio Graham, who's lived a very rich life helping many companies and businesses as they're looking to grow and, and this series really look, explores what are the different strands of course you need to, your heart needs to be in it like we we're talking before we need to love what we're doing but what's actually the structure that's required and we've talked a lot about that actually in this in this particular web uh, this particular newsletter and video newsletter haven't we what's the structure and how do they blend to make success where it is that you're wanting that personally whether you're wanting that in your career or in business okay we are pretty much there, aren't, aren't we? I want to thank you very, very much for um, tuning in this month um, and, for, and for watching. And, I, and my, my final quote for the month that I want to leave you with is this. 
And it's one of mine, and it's one of my favourite ones. Can you, can you see this one? I might just leave it there on the camera. People will ask you the question, how's life treating you? But I ask you the question, how are you treating life? On that, your happiness rests. And I wish you happiness for the month ahead, and for the autumn ahead, for the rest of the year. Take care, and see you soon. Bye-bye.